Schizophrenia is a severe chronic mental disorder that affects perception, thoughts, emotions, and behavior, often leading to severe impairments in daily functioning. It typically emerges in late adolescence or early adulthood, and while the exact cause is unknown, it is thought to be a multifactorial disorder with genetic, neurobiological, and environmental components. Schizophrenia's symptom profile can vary significantly, but it is characterized by a wide range of symptoms that can be categorized into several groups, including positive, negative, and cognitive symptoms. Some people show primarily positive symptoms, while others experience more negative or cognitive ones. Positive symptoms involve the presence of abnormal experiences and behaviors not typically seen in healthy individuals. They are referred to as positive because they represent an addition or exaggeration to normal functioning. Positive symptoms can be subdivided into several categories. Hallucinations are false sensory perceptions that can occur in any sensory modality, although auditory hallucinations are the most common in schizophrenia. People with schizophrenia may hear voices that comment on their actions or thoughts or believe they are receiving special messages through these hallucinations. Delusions are strongly held false beliefs that are resistant to reason and contradictory evidence. Common delusional themes in schizophrenia include paranoid delusions, like the belief that others are plotting against them, and delusions of grandeur, in which one believes that they have exceptional abilities or importance. Thought disorder refers to disruptions in the normal flow of thought. Individuals with schizophrenia may experience disorganized thinking, characterized by incoherent speech, tangentiality, going off topic, or loose associations, jumping between unrelated ideas. Negative symptoms represent a reduction or loss of normal functioning. They include effective flattening, which refers to a restricted range of emotional expression. Individuals may appear emotionally unresponsive or may exhibit a lack of facial expressions, voice modulation, or gestures. Elogia involves reduced speech output and the inability to engage in meaningful conversation. People with schizophrenia may respond with brief monosyllabic answers or struggle to organize their thoughts into coherent speech. Anhedonia is the inability to experience pleasure or interest in previously enjoyable activities. Individuals may lose interest in social interactions, hobbies, and even personal relationships. Avolition refers to a lack of motivation to initiate and sustain goal-related activities. Individuals may struggle with basic self-care tasks, such as personal hygiene or maintaining employment. Finally, Social withdrawal involves isolating oneself from social interactions and relationships. Cognitive symptoms of schizophrenia affect thinking processes and can contribute to functional impairment. These symptoms include an impaired memory. Individuals may experience difficulties with short-term and working memory, impacting their ability to remember and process information. Attention deficits can make it challenging to concentrate, leading to distractibility and difficulty in sustaining focus on tasks. Finally, people with schizophrenia may have impaired executive function. Executive functions encompass higher-order cognitive processes such as planning, problem-solving, and decision-making, so impairments can hinder independent living and employment. While mood symptoms are not core features of schizophrenia, some individuals with the disorder may experience co-occurring mood disturbances such as depression or anxiety. It is important to note that to be diagnosed with schizophrenia, these symptoms must persist for a long time, typically at least six months, and significantly impair a person's functioning in various areas of life, such as work, relationships, and self-care. Aberrant neurotransmitter signaling is a central feature of schizophrenia. One of the main theories on the underlying neurobiology of schizophrenia is the dopamine hypothesis, originally proposed in the 1960s. This hypothesis posits that abnormalities in the dopaminergic system play a pivotal role in the development and manifestation of schizophrenia. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter that is key for brain functions such as mood regulation, motivation, reward processing, and motor control. It exerts effects through five different types of dopamine receptors. Among these receptors, the D1 and D2 receptors have gained attention in the context of schizophrenia. The dopamine hypothesis suggests that excessive dopamine activity in certain regions of the brain, primarily in the mesolimbic pathway, is responsible for the positive symptoms of schizophrenia. In schizophrenia, there is excessive release of dopamine in certain brain regions, particularly the nucleus accumbens, and this can result in heightened neural activity 
and an altered perception of reality. Conversely, decreased dopamine activity in the mesocortical pathway is thought to underlie the negative symptoms and cognitive deficits seen in schizophrenia. This region connects to the prefrontal cortex, a critical player in executive functions such as decision-making, working memory, and social cognition. Abnormalities in dopamine receptor density and function may result from disrupted neurodevelopment during critical periods in utero or early childhood. Growing evidence also implicates the glutamatergic system in schizophrenia. NMDA receptor hypofunction, in particular, has gained attention as a potential mechanism. This dysfunction can disrupt the balance between excitatory and inhibitory signaling, leading to cognitive deficits and altered perception. Structural neuroimaging studies have revealed differences in the brains of individuals with schizophrenia. These include enlarged ventricles, reduced gray matter volume in regions like the prefrontal cortex and hippocampus, and altered white matter connectivity.